Today I wanted to show you the Quick Mill Pippa. It's a single boiler espresso machine with a no burn steam wand. Nice wood accents, whether you have the matte black model or the stainless steel model. It's a saturated group design. Um, it does not have a PID, uh, which I think was a missed opportunity for Quick Mill with this machine. Um, but they do have other machines in their li lineup that include PIDs. Um, and maybe that's why they decided not to include it on this model. Um, it comes in at or uh, under $1,000, which is kind of pricey for a single boiler machine. Um, but the build quality on the PIPA is um, pretty great and it makes you see where that money is going. Um, some other features on this machine include a 012 switch, um, which is confusing for people. Um, it basically allows you to fill the boiler without having the heating element on, which is great for first time use or when it's in storage. But other than that, um, usually you just use the two setting, which is everything on. Um, it heats up fairly quickly for a all metal stainless steel design. Um, but you want to wait about 20 to 30 minutes before it, it comes to a more stable temperature if you're going to be uh, pulling light roast espressos. I think it gets up to uh, steam temperature pretty quickly, and I'll demonstrate that for you. One of the things I really like about this machine is the location of the water tank, which is here. Um, it's very easy to fill, um, and as long as you don't have something on this side of the machine that's blocking it, you're good to go. I mean, you can really just fill it with, by pulling it out a slight amount. You don't even have to take the water um, reservoir completely out of the machine, although you'll want to every couple of weeks just for cleaning. One thing that I've done to this machine is added a dimmer switch with this little guitar tone knob, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it hooks up directly to the vibratory pump in this machine. What that does is allows you to control the power going to the pump and therefore allows you to control the pressure. This machine is equipped with a pressure gauge not being read here in the group head, but being read at the boiler. That's important because you're generally going to want to pull 1 or 1 1.5 bars higher than the standard 9 bar at the boiler to get that same pressure at the group head. Um, I don't have a SCASE device, so I can't verify that, but it seems to be the case generally um, across the board when it comes to espresso machines. You can monitor the amount of pressure from this dimmer mod through that, and it'll still give you a good idea of what your profile you're going for. So you can do a kind of a Slayer shot, you can do a pre-infusion, whatever. And one of the great things about this machine is it's pretty big for a single boiler and there's a lot of room. Everything's pretty high quality. Um, so when you open this up, which is so easy to do, it's just three screws and the top comes off. Um, you've got access in there, adding a PID, adding whatever you want um, to mod this machine with is so easy because there's so much room in here to do it. I've modded Gaggia Classics before, I've modded Rangelio Silvias before, and there's not nearly as much room in those machines to maneuver around. And uh, it makes you more prone to break things, of course, um, but experienced people have no problem doing that. So it just depends on how much experience you have. Um, but certainly having more room inside the machine makes it easier to do that. Um, so I'm gonna pull a shot I have dialed in with my Porta filter. that's a bottomless porta filter to my Lilit Bianca. Um, it has the same kind of tab design on the group head, so it is going to work just fine in this machine. One of the things that is a slight annoyance with this machine is, although it's very sturdily um, built and, and all great parts and uh, quality of parts, um, it still is fairly light. Um, I don't know exactly how much it weighs, but it seems to weigh half as much as my Elite Bianca, um, which means that when you're locking in the porta filter and you want to make it good and tight, you've got to kind of put your hand on the machine and lock in the porta filter that way, um, or else you might shimmy the machine around, which isn't my favorite thing in the world. But with the bottomless porta filter, I've got plenty of room for this small scale. And I'm going to turn the knob to about five. One thing I want to note before turning this machine on is it has one of the quietest 
um, vibratory pump designs. Um, there is a piece of rubber that's mounting the pump, and I wonder if that has anything to do with the um, loudness of the pump, but it, it is just barely louder than the rotary pump in my Lily Bianca, which I think is pretty impressive and is one of the reasons why I've always loved the machine from the beginning. It's just really easy to work with in the morning and doesn't give you any screaming sounds or loud vibrations that are sometimes uh, not what you want first thing in the morning. Once the gauge comes up to pressure, I'm going to slowly ramp up to 9 bar. It's a nice pre-infusion. Ramping it up all the way now. You can see it only hit 6 bar. Now I'm ramping it down and turning it off. So here I put in 19 grams, I'm getting out 44. It's a little longer um, than I would have wanted to pull this shot because I was filming. So it's kind of hard to make everything perfect. I always try to remember to turn the dimmer switch back to 10. Using a puck screen. Eh. It's not the cleanest, but it does have a solenoid, so it does suck some of that water out. Now I'm going to instantly remove this. Purge. Clean off the brew head. And I'm going to turn the steam on. Oops, that was the water. That was hot water. I'm going to turn the steam on and steam some milk. One thing to note is um, I've noticed this generally amongst um, single boiler machines. Because they share a boiler, there's a lot of condensation that builds up in the steam wand. And before actually steaming, you're going to want to make sure that steam comes all the way or the condensation comes out before you start steaming or else it's just going to be really wet. But you can see it's coming up to temperature pretty quickly and it's just about ready. I don't even wait until the light goes off most of the time. I'm getting a great swirl. clean your steam wand directly after steaming and purge. Oh, it's hot. So hot. But the steam wand itself is not totally safe. So that's the quick mill Pippa with the mod that I've done here, which again, I want to reiterate was super, super easy. Um, this is a fantastic single boiler espresso machine. Um, and really, um, one of the best, I think a lot of people are going to imagine the Profitech Pro 500, I'm sorry, the Profitech Go, not the Pro 500, um, is its direct competitor as well as the Ranchilio Silvia. Um, the Silvia being a little bit below the Pippa and the Profitech Go being a little bit above because it includes a PID. One of the advantages I think that the Pippa has to the Profitech is um, modability. I'm not sure about the Profitech, not that you'd really want to mod it, although the dimmer mod is something I would recommend to basically all espresso machines um, that don't have a flow profiling function um, already. It's one of the easiest things to do and levels up your espresso game really quickly. 
Um, you can see the shot here. Looks great. And the milk texture is just what you want to see. Milk texture. Silky milky. Silky milky. I'm going to try and pour a latte here with it. Or rather a cappuccino. Just so you can see. I'm not the best latte art. But you can see it does just fine. And this is oat milk, by the way. This is not regular milk. Okay. So not great, you know, but I'm doing this on camera. So of course it's not going to be. Um, overall, it's just a great machine with a lot of potential. If you wanted to get your hands into it and mod it, it's got a great big boiler. So you're not going to have small boiler problems. Um, really a PID and this flow control mod or um, pump control mod, dimmer switch mod, whatever you want to call it is the only two things that it really needs to become amazing and uh, perfect for a single boiler machine.